This presentation will cover what's new in Autodesk Advanced Steel 2018. My name is Meredith Keller from Imaginet Technologies. New and enhanced features in Autodesk Advanced Steel 2018 include prefabricated hand rail with ball joints, wall mounted grab rail, cold rolled Perlins connection, combined model views with cameras, call out on drawing, enhanced drawing creation dialog, drawing styles for manual cut views, local content for international English, local content for US English, new content pack for China, migrate custom settings tool, new SQL server database, localized online help documentation, one advanced steel installation, custom objects stored in the 3D model, advanced steel 2018 extension for Revit, Autodesk Steel connections for Revit. Advanced Steel 2018 new and enhanced modeling tools. Advanced Steel 2018 provides a new automatic and parametric macro for inserting prefabricated ball stanchions. These ball stanchions are from Australian and New Zealand providers and are inserted as a special part in the 3D model. The parametric macro for inserting prefabricated ball stanchions is in advanced steel from the extended modeling tab, structural element panel, railing drop down, mono wheels. You select the objects where you want the handrail and then enter. Then you pick the start point of the handrail endpoint of the handrail. Then the new macro dialog box opens up where you can make any changes that's needed. Advanced Steel 2018 provides a new automatic and parametric macro for inserting a grab rail along a wall. It can be used with a series of model lines or a 3D polyline. The rail can be a bent polybeam or a series of arc beams and straight beams and includes wall connections. The parametric macro for inserting a grab rail along a wall is found in advanced steel from the extended mulling tab, structural elements panel, wall rail. Then you can choose from lines or 3D pie lines. I'm going to choose lines and you pick on the lines and then enter. Then you can delete the lines, yes, or keep the lines around, no. I'm going to choose yes. Then opens up the wall rail macro dialog box. Under general, you will find a choice of rail profiles, raw profile, wall plates, wall plate types, corner treatments, connections, and patterns. Under rail segments, you can change spacing and offsets. Advanced Steel 2018 provides a new automatic and parametric connection for cold rolled sections such as purlins and side rails. The connection can be started from the connection bolt and offers various options in regards to the brackets from Australia and New Zealand available by default and the brackets are inserted as special parts. The parametric connection for cold rolled sections can be started from the connection bolt. 
from the connection bolt under fabricator specific macros, pick Perlin accessories. The first pick is to select the supporting Perlin and then enter. The second pick is to select the connecting Perlin and then enter. Then opens up the dialog box. Under general, you can choose a Perlin type and under bolts, you can choose the type of bolt, diameter, and assembly. Advanced Steel 2018 Documentation Improvements. Advanced Steel offers the possibility to create a model view from your 3D model so that you can isolate objects in a specific 3D volume. Advanced Steel 2018 now enables you to combine a model view with a camera and use it for a drawing creation by assigning it a specific drawing style and scale. In Advanced Steel 2018, I'm going to make a model view. From the Project Explorer, I'm going to choose Create New Model View. From the dialog box, I'm going to pick on Add Grid Line. I'm going to pick on a grid line and then Enter and give it a name and Enter again. Then I'm going to pick on a View Direction Arrowhead and then Enter. And now I've created a model view. The Object Explorer, there's the model view I just created. If I pick on the light bulb, I see the new model view. If I pick on the model view object and right click and go into advanced properties, I see camera properties and I'm going to check on create automatic drawing and choose from a type of drawing. I'm going to choose overview and a style for the drawing. I'm going to choose elevation view symbol and a scale for the drawing. And choose 1 to 25. And close down the dialog box. I'm going to pick on the camera view object. And from my drawing processes palette, under cameras, I'm going to choose a select the camera full page ANSI D. And go ahead and click OK. From my output tab, I'm going to pick on document manager. And now I see my new drawing. Open up the drawing. Now I created a view on a drawing from my model view. With the new Create Callout View feature, you can now create a callout view from a 2D view or a 3D view on your drawing. You can specify scale and the drawing style and customize the callout symbol. In Advanced Steel 2018, to make a callout view, from the ribbon, choose the Labels and Dimensioning tab, and from the Parametric Views panel, pick Create Callout View. From the command line, you can choose Settings to change the scale and the type of view that you want to create and click OK. Then select the detail view and then we window the area that I'm interested in. And now we've created a callout. I zoom in to my callout window and double click on this. I can change the line type I can also change the color of the callout. I can also change the callout frame from rectangular to circular to off. The drawing creation dialog box has been enhanced. The show hide buttons have been added so that you can directly control the display of various elements 
from the Drawing Creation dialog box. In Advanced Deal 2018, when creating a drawing from a drawing style, the Drawing Creation dialog box has been enhanced. When I pick a drawing style from my drawing style's palette and click on Modify Settings, notice I can turn on and off level symbols, well symbols, building access grids, pin lines, clipping, whole representation. In this example, I'm going to switch off building access grids and click OK. Then when I open up my document manager and look at my drawing, notice if I open up the drawing, no grids display. Advanced Deal 2018 comes with an enhanced countrification for the English International Version. It provides a set of predefined and ready-to-use settings and templates, which helps the user to speed up the modeling and get documents based on local standards. A new content pack for China is available for Advanced Deal 2018. It is a separate extension downloadable from the Autodesk App Store. It comes with specific installation for China, which provides a set of predefined and ready-to-use settings and templates that help users to speed up the modeling and get documents based on Chinese standards. Advanced Steel 2018 has more content for the U.S. market. The weld symbol has been enhanced to match better local requirements. The U.S. release is also delivered with dedicated drawing styles for shop drawings of U and C shaped beams. It also has some presentation enhancement such as the hatch pattern representation for holes on shop drawings. Advanced Steel 2018 Installation Enhancements The Migrate Custom Settings tool offers a modern and informative interface for migrating your custom settings and files from a previous release to Advanced Steel 2018. And it helps detect and identify customized settings and enables you to choose which ones you would like to migrate. A summary report created from the migration offers comprehensive information in an easy to read format. If you change your mind about migrating settings from a previous release, you can easily restore Advanced Steel default settings using the reset tool, which is available from the start menu. Starting with this new Advanced Deal 2018 release, the database format has been changed from Microsoft Database Access to SQL Server Databases. Now all databases are MDF files and no more MDB files, which it was in the past. You can view and edit databases with the management tools or use SQL Server Management Studio 2014 SP1 for more complex operations. Advanced Steel software operates on the AutoCAD platform by combining the functionality of the two products into a single executable. We are eliminating the need for customers to separately install both AutoCAD 2018 and Advanced Deal 28 software on their desktop. Advanced Deal 2018 Interoperability 
If your advanced DIM model contains custom properties, such as custom sections or custom materials, you can choose to write this information in the DWG file so that other project team members or stakeholders can visualize the entire model and other products, such as Navisworks, AutoCAD Plant 3D, VIM 360, or A360 Viewer. If you change your mind about including custom properties in your advanced steel DWG file, you can use the Delete Stored Data icon available in the user interface. Autodesk Steel Connections for Revit 2018 provides access to more than 100 parametric steel connections in Autodesk Revit 2018 software enabling connections to be modeled with a higher level of detail. The application also includes a built-in steel connection design engine based on U.S. and European codes. This functionality helps to bridge the gap between design and fabrication as both members and connections can be synchronized between Revit and advanced steel for detailing. With Steel Connections for Revit users can take advantage of model-based collaboration to create better coordinated designs and documents that extends to fabrication.